and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Buried in Ice. That's what we're going to go ahead and call this deck. As, as you all know, if you watched the other two videos, we are playing a um, holiday winter edition stream where we're playing three winter decks. We're playing all Freljord decks where we are uh, throwing some holiday uh, love over to Freljord because Freljord kind of needs it, right? Like it's um, it only has seven champions in Freljord. All the other regions have either eight, nine, or ten. Three regions even have ten champions, which are three more than what Freljord has. Poor little old Freljords. We're playing uh, three decks that have all the champions in them. So we already played Ash Sejuani. We played Brahma Nivia. Now we're going to have Lissandra, Trundle, and Trindamir all together in this deck. So we were trying to think. So, you know, we were coming up with ideas of like, all right, so we're going to play a, a deck with um, Lissandra, Trundle, and Trindamir. So what should we do with that? And of course, Feel the Rush was exactly what we started with, right? Because, you know, it's like, well, we're probably playing a Feel the Rush ramp uh deck from there and you know kind of going at it you know thinking of all right we could go shadow wilds we could go ionia those are kind of the two main field of rush things we already did shadow Isles with the brahmanivia so i want to do a little something different so then we're thinking ionia scatter pod is like a really good card here in ionia to help you draw your field of rush um you know because you can put it so field of rush is the only slow spell in your deck scatter pod will find it for you and that's pretty cool but then kind of thinking, well, we're playing Lissandra in here, not just Trundle and Trindamir. And Lissandra is not necessarily the best with Field of Rush, right? It's just a 10-10 tough instead of um, Overwhelm like those other champions. Um, and so decided to maybe do something a little different, right? So we're going to, instead of Field of Rush, we're going to be playing Buried in Ice, It That Stairs combo, okay? So, you know, switching it up. Instead of like Mina Swiftfoot, Buried in uh, feel the rush, which most people would do. Let's do this little combo. So our scatter pod will still draw buried in ice. We'll have it that stairs that um, babbling beer can draw, or babbling beer will also maybe draw a scatter pod or trindamir as well. But you know, like those are going to be our options there. Um, and it's a pretty sweet combo, right? So we're either going to just be like putting stuff out and then like buried in ice and get rid of their blockers and then attack and kill them, or buried in ice, get rid of their stuff, go to the next round, and then play it that stairs and obliterate all landmarks it's a cool little combo so uh yeah and that that just kind of fits our winter theme also right buried in ice like yeah that that's pretty good um so that's that's what we're gonna do so we still have our faces of the old ones because we have a lot of eight plus cost cards between the it that stairs and the buried in ice and the trindamir and the other good part about this deck is our opponents are definitely going to be expecting feel the rush right like they'll see scatter pod they're they're going to be thinking feel the rush they're going to be trying to set up like whatever they do against Field of Rush. I don't know, whatever they're going to do against Field of Rush. That's what they're going to think that we're going to be doing. They're, there's no way they're going to be expecting Buried in Ice <laughs> instead, right? So they're going to be like going wide, like, oh, we got to kill them before these 10 tanks comes in. And then we're going to be like, boom, obliterate all your stuff. And then next round, hit that stairs. And that's going to be pretty sweet. All right, so that's the plan. Let's get to it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to be taking it on over to Ranked and playing our five games over there. That's what I'm guessing. Malphite Talia. Oh, it connected. All right, good. All right, so a good opening hand of just like stuff, right? It's not like any anything powerful, but it's like just pretty good defensive stuff, I suppose. So I'll just kind of keep it. Uh, we're probably going to draw into powerful stuff. I think that's a fair assumption. Considering we got a all this right now yeah i know right y'all are just talking about talia malphite in uh chat and everything i want to talk about this deck quite a bit and then suddenly the very next deck that we get paired against is this talia malphite it's pretty crazy Yeah, same thing happened today with Timo Caitlyn. It's like we can like just talk about a deck and then it comes up, right? Like somebody asks a question about Timo Caitlyn and then our very next deck that we play against is Timo Caitlyn. And then talking about Talia Malphite in chat, then the very next deck is Talia Malphite. Oh no, the trap. So 
So I don't love just playing Blighted Ravine. Okay. I like it a little bit better now. I don't want them to play like the four mana thing that destroys the landmark and destroys my Blighted Ravine like right after I play it. Salt Spire. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. I mean, I could Ice Fill Archer that thing, but. I'm just gonna let them kill the 3 1 and to make it to the Talia. Okay, yeah, they don't even want to. See, we just gotta be able to find the it that stares. Besides drawing a slow spell, I can choose burst and we either get catalyst of aeons troll chant or three sisters or i can choose fast and we get concuss of palm or deny um don't really love any other option i have besides just playing scatter pot so we'll just go and do that we draw a slow spell it at least you know just gets another card out of the deck so it makes it a little bit more likely that we draw um, it that stairs Sweet. Oh, little distance means so little when family means so much. Perfect. It's cold as ice. You're gonna get buried in ice. And we'll find out who's naughty or nice. I don't know. I could just like lead with a obliterate all landmarks. Maybe I should. But it feels like we're supposed to play the ice pillar first, right? So you just get one five four. I don't get two five fours. So maybe I should have just done the hit that stairs first. Looks like it. Alright, so we're gonna have an 8-6. Gets blocked by the 6-5. Um Yeah, I should've just played that first. Should have played the ice pillar. Alright, so 6-5 blocks there, and then, what, like, 5-4 blocks, like... Yeah, and the, I don't know, then they, they throw the 2-4 in front of the 8-8. Eight, eight. So my Trundle dies. Their stuff kind of dies. And it's probably fine to have Trundle die. They got 4 cards left, we have 7. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, those are the two obvious blocks. Just what, not sure if they're doing the 5 4 blocking or not. They want to go to 10 or stay at 15. And I thought I was a troll. Wow. I did not expect that. Yeah, that's unexpected. Ass. <laughs> yeah, see, just buried in ice again now. Like, how are they gonna block? I don't know. They don't have any mana left. And there we go. One sided ruinations. See, they think we're a field of rush deck, and we just surprised them with the buried in ice combo. That was pretty sweet. 
Oh, Targon's Peak. So they got Braum, Aurelian Soul. This is going to be one where we much rather would have been... Well, we don't really need Troll Chant. Uh, or much rather would have been the Feel the Rush deck, probably. Alright, so we got our combo. Hit that stairs, Barry to Nice. And we have Scatter Pod to get another Barry to Nice. And Lissandra just kind of chills. Get it? Chills? Okay. Oh, that card's good. Even though they have Zoe in their deck, you just don't really expect Zoe, because it's pretty rare that they actually have Zoe in these kind of decks. Really hope they don't get uh, Moon Silver. Is that it? The zero mana makes something cost one less. They could play Targon Speak next round. That'd be bad. They probably think our deck is greedy, right? Like if you if you get paired against Trundle, Lissandra, Trindamir, Freljord, Ionia, you gotta think, oh man, that deck's super greedy. They're gonna have a bunch of Mina Swiftfoots and feel the rush. But, but that's what we want them to think. Might as well display it. He could be grabbing like double stuns, he could be grabbing the messenger. You know, really anything. So what if like they made my ice pillar cost zero and then like play refill eight mana? Now you if you have if you only have six mana gems, you can only refill the six. But like, what if you could actually like get eight mana gems with that? Like, that would be awesome. Look at our aggro deck go. Oh man, it was gone. Jealous of the ramp. I think I'll just get another berry. Nice. More messengers. They're not using Santa Brom. They should be using Santa Brom. You are safe with Brom. Alright, kinda of attacking in first. Seeing if they play anything after these. Maybe they play something kind of cool. I don't know what, like what, like Eclipse Dragon or something. I don't know. I guess they have ten cards in hand. I guess I could have just passed it originally before. That's what I should have done. Is just because they have ten cards in hand, I should have just passed originally. Okay. They're willing just to burn something. Uzgar. So obviously last round I wanted them to play something, then I would have buried in ice, and then this round I would have played it that stairs. Good chance I should have just done that anyway. But, you know, they had ten cards in hand, so I thought they would play something, but they didn't. Have 
Zoe, Trundle, or Zoe, Prom, and Aurelian Soul. Four mana left. They don't play Deny. I'm not really getting anything too big. This slows them down though, right? So like they don't get to play really until next round because they don't have the, like those ramp weirding the weirding sounds ramping anymore. Right now, this is um five, ten, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. This is me attacking for 16. I think that's just the best play. Attack for 16. I guess this is worth it. It's only two more. It's only two less damage. Wait, we just do here. That's only one less damage. But then they could they could frostbite there, so there's a good chance they want to frostbite anyway. So the problem with playing it that stairs first is then then they get to feel the rush, right? Like I play it that stairs, they they feel the rush. Um, I'm one short from playing it that stairs, then like concussive the bomb also. I think I'm gonna do this. Got to got to attack with the zero six also. You never know, you're gonna need it. And yeah, there's their frostbite. Looks like they're looking for the double obliterates. That, of course, gets rid of our own Frozen Thrall. So I could... Um, could find Deny also, you know, like try to find Deny with Scatter Pod of drawing fast spells. But we don't have any more Scatter Pods, what I'm saying, like we did. We could take fast and try to find Deny for obliterates. Ishar can get rid of Spell Shield on Aurelian Soul and then allow us to bury and ice it afterwards. Like that's the cool thing about Ishar here. If they do end up going Field of Rush, we can be like, get rid of Spell Shield and bury and ice. Dude, our deck is sweet. This ball impedes all our plans. I wanted to just play Battling Beard. Probably would have been better. Attacks for more. Alright, that will do. GG. All is still for now. Two and up. All right, back to another landmark deck. If only we had a card that obliterated all the landmarks. So I like the the face of the old one buried in ice part, right? So then, um, I don't think I like Blighted Ravine and Scatter Pod is like it's a good blocker, right? But it's kind of slow. It would just dr draw another buried in ice or something else. Um, but it gives me like. It gives me for sure mid game to be doing. I think I sent it back though. Hey Gazer, happy holidays. Cool. We got a Trundle. Yeah, new work's going good. New work is uh, going good. Everything there. You know, I found it is difficult to be doing, you know, be doing that and streaming all the time. But of course, it's also kind of difficult to be doing that because it's winter. I think that also. Uh, 
does, you know, makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, so so far so good. So we're still at 17. All right, but we still can kill that. We'll have regen trundle. Get the roiling sands. So bad news, we're gonna have five mana again next round. So we don't get to play scatter pod next round. Maybe we want to choose. I don't know. Do we want to choose slow again and get another berry nice? Maybe we want to choose. I don't know, like burst. Maybe we'll just take another berry nice. It's the name of our deck for a reason. I just can't wait. Here we go. Yeah, good to see all y'all again as well. So we're doing a cool, a cool stream today, where it's just a, a winter edition stream where we're playing all seven of the Freljord champions. Oh wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I could have done better against that with the concussive palm than what I ended up doing. Wow, and that's lethal. Alright, good job, opponent. Good game. I like the uh, yeah, like we're going negative four the uh, card that I had didn't save us. All right, Vladimir Braum. So Vladimir Braum is going to like all my little sweepers, but they're going to hate like the buried and ice, right? It's so, like the buried and ice part of our deck is really good. Um, Avaros and Sentry. I don't know. I still feel like I probably keep it. I think I keep all this, but we got to find it that stairs. Alright, good, good card to have. Yeah, that was a, just an awesome hand from them, right? They killed us, what, what was that, like round six? And that was also, you know, like having that awesome finish. That was even with having a great curve of like curving out one, two, three. Or at least one, two. Right, his Preservarium was in there. So, of course, drawing Catalyst changed my play. I wasn't going to Sentry anymore. Is it the Bustas? Who knows? Eyes to meet you. Ah! I feel really bad about keeping Avros and Sentry and Concussive Palm when we just drew another Avros and Sentry and Concussive Palm and I don't really want any of them. Alright, we can play all the twos. Now we can play Ice Pillar this round. Man, if we just had it that stairs. Like this would be a great time, even just like right now. Like we buried an ice right here, then we go back, you know, then our then we play it that stairs and the game's over. The game's just literally over. Come on, come on. Yeah, so, so the problem with starting with pillars, then that allows them to attack and get the Tarkaz ability. Um, which I don't really want them to get that Tarkaz ability, so I'm kind of thinking that I should Concussive Palm the Tarkaz. Uh, I kind of think I have to do that. I don't. I really don't want them to have that ability. And I thought I was a troll. 
So I do want to block with these sentries, right? Because I do want to draw into the deck. I'm only going to have 8 mana next round, so I would rather I'm going to keep Concussive Palm for Scar Mother later. I would rather use the Fury of the North to kill that thing also, but if I do that, then we only have 8 mana next round and I don't get too buried in ice. Going like this means we could bury the nice if we do... Oh, I guess the face of the old ones survives. I was thinking it was going to die. Never mind. Where's our hit that stairs? Not drawn too well. These last three draws, all three of these cards are kind of useless. Oh, I guess the thing is going to get tough now, isn't it? I think it's going to have one damage left. Ugh. I guess that's tough. Well. What could go wrong? over there. We at least drew two useful cards, right? Have you met my shield? In Scatterpot and Three Sisters, those are both very useful cards. Show me your best. I'm just taking the one damage from the Ice Shard right now. Hmm. That hurts. Because I don't really have too many more friends. That stairs, where are you? All right, so leave with the face of the old one so they can play this unit they just drew right here. Oh, they had that unit right there. Yeah, play that one too. 
All right, so get these out of the get these out of here. So at least they can't attack next round. And so we have next round to top deck get that stairs. If not, you know we're drawing another. We will use this get another buried in ice. Attack with three units, deal three damage. Hit that stairs. Wow. It's a Christmas miracle. I would like to obliterate all landmarks, please. Could Braum wave, that'd be that'd be mean. Poor Braum. This is what you get for not you know, you don't play Santa Braum. You're not gonna get the the holiday luck. And there we go. It's gonna be a three and a one buried in ice. That was nice. <laughs> Darkhawk's Hawk's making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find them buried in ice. Santa Braum is coming to town. Echo Zillion. So we got our buried in ice again, which is good. That card's definitely gone. This one gone. Uh, I guess it makes more sense to go like this. The reason the reason to go like this, of course, is if we have like the two mana ramp card. I guess we'll go like this though. Hmm. No, I'll go like this. Yeah, very nice is good. Just a good card. Alright, come on, ramp card. Two mana ramp card. Zero three. Oh no, we got all of our buried in ice. That's naughty, not nice. They're so aggro. Hmm. So we're doing that just to find another blocker. There you are, faces. Thing is, I really want to play Babbling Bjerg this round. But I guess I gotta play you. But Babbling Bjerg can, like, find... Yeah, I guess we're playing you. Warm hearts and hot soup. So I think it's pretty good. Playing Zillion on two, Echo on four, leveled up. Getting two free drop orders. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius punk buddy. I think that's what we call perfect. Oh, and then Voice of the Risen. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what we call perfect. Twenty-five. And then can go find man if they hit like Chrono Break also. They get Chrono Break, they win. No Chrono Break, please. Well, that's good news, though. We know one was a drop order. Ruinous Path. All right, so we're behind. Just got to do this right now. Really hoping no more echoes. Some will ascend. All will become legends. <laughs> so 
Time is yeah, they had a ridiculous hand. Their hand was insane. So that's what's going to take to defeat our Buried and Ice deck. The best hand you could possibly draw up. <laughs> Alright, so our Buried and Ice deck ended up going 3 and 2. Finished out having all winning uh, records here with our three different winter decks. We got to play all seven of the Frelior Champions in our uh, winter edition stream here. And got all winning records, so pretty happy about that. Also, you know, kind of played some different stuff uh, that we don't usually play, right? Got got to play um, Scatter Pod Buried in Ice for the first time ever, and it looked really good. It looked, uh, you know, quite strong. You know, it was a great hand there, that last one that defeated us. Um, that hand would have defeated anything in the metagame at all, right? So, three and one in, in realistic games where we had a chance. Um, you know, good good showing there for for the deck. So that's, uh, there we go. That's, that's going to be Buried in Ice to close it out. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed these decks. Let me know in the comment section. Also, hopefully you had a very uh, happy holiday season. And of course, we got New Year's coming up. Uh, so you know, feel free to let me know how your holidays went or any New Year's plans or you know anything like that. I always love talking to y'all in the comment section. But uh, thank you so much for watching. So I'm Barry Nice, and I'll see you for the next video.